Hello guys, so now we shall be discussing regarding the posterior relations of the kidneys. Okay, so what are some of the posterior relations of the kidneys? Posterior relations of kidneys. So, what are the posterior relations of the kidneys? Now, if you look at the posterior relations of the kidneys, I mean the same right as well as the left kidney. So, this is how the kidney looks from the back. Right. So, this is your right kidney, and here you have got your left kidney. This is your left kidney, right? And second important thing is that you have got a ligament here right so here you have got one ligament all the way like this and here you have got a ligament all the way like this so what is the ligament that is located here this ligament over here is called as arcuate ligament so one arcuate ligaments are located two arcuate ligaments are located on the outer side and two are located on the inner side right so this is called as a lateral arcuate ligament lateral arcuate ligament and uh, this one over here is called as medial arcuate ligament medial arcuate ligament so we have got two important arcuate ligaments over here one is called as a lateral arcuate ligament another one is called as a medial arcuate ligament now apart from this arcuate ligament so you even have got some very important muscles over here okay so if you can see here clearly there is a muscle which is uh, drawn in the center like this right so this muscle which is in the center here i mean actually there are no muscles sitting on the kidneys kidneys are not having any muscles but what i'm trying to explain you here is that on the back side these muscles are in contact with the kidney at this particular location it doesn't mean that the muscle is sitting on the kidney they are in contact if this is the kidney anterior side of the kidney this is the posterior side of the kidney for back side you have got your back muscles right like psoas quadratus lumborum uh, abdominalis and all so you have got muscles so these muscles are touching the kidney like this so that is what uh, the contact means right that is what the relation means so this muscle which you can see here this is called as quadratus lumborum muscle what is this muscle this muscle over here is called as let me write it down onto the other side this muscle over here is called as quadratus lumborum muscle so this muscle over here is your quadratus lumborum after this quadratus lumborum muscle so we have got another muscle over here so this muscle which you can see over here is somewhat transverse in nature right so that is why it is called as transverse abdominis muscle okay so this muscle over here which is located this is called as transverse abdominis muscle so this muscle over here is called as your transverse abdominis muscle so this is your transverse abdominis muscle okay so this is your transverse abdominis muscle now after that you have got a third muscle right so there is another muscle that is located here this muscle over here which is located medially is called as a psoas major muscle what is this muscle called psoas major yeah so this muscle over here is called as your psoas major muscle so we have got three important muscles over here one is called as a transverse abdominalis muscle right so three important muscles transverse abdominalis muscle right next we have got the psoas major muscle and after that we have got the quadratus lumborum muscle so these are the three important muscles that are in relation with the kidneys which relation anterior or posterior posterior relation with the kidneys right so for the right and left it is the same after this we have got three important vessels what are these three important vessels see exactly from here we have got a vein that is coming out okay after that we have got an artery that is coming out and after that we have got a nerve that is coming out so there are three important things one is called as vein one one is called as a vein one is called as a artery one is called as a nerve so what are they these are called as subcostal vessels 
okay so we have got subcostal vein subcostal artery as well as a subcostal nerve after this we additionally we have got two important things that are coming out okay so what are these two important things see from here there is one nerve that is coming out and from here there is another nerve that is coming out let us name it as a and b and i will write down the names of these nerves later okay so a is called as ilio hypogastric nerve a is your ilio hypogastric nerve b is your ilio inguinal nerve ilio inguinal nerve okay b is your ilio inguinal nerve right so now overall uh, by the picture i have explained you what are the anterior and posterior posterior relations what are the posterior relations of the right and left kidney so let us just write it down okay so for example if someone asks you what are the muscles that are located in relation with what in relation with the in the posterior relation of the kidneys okay so basically we have got few important muscles four important muscles let us say what are these four important muscles see we have got one is called as medial arcuate and lateral arcuate ligament by the way this medial and lateral arcuate ligaments are are the parts of what these two are the parts of diaphragm okay the medial arcuate as well as the lateral arcuate ligament are the parts of your diaphragm so the diaphragm is in relation with this diaphragm is in relation and after that as i have told you there is psoas major after psoas major i have also told you there is quadratus lumborum quadratus lumborum and finally we have got the transverse abdominis transverse abdominis transverse abdominis so these are the four important muscles that are located now when it comes to the nerves what are the important nerves that are located and how many nerves are there basically i already told you that we have got three important nerves what are those three important nerves one is we have got the subcostal vessels subcostal vessels are consisting of what we have got the subcostal artery subcostal vein as well as the subcostal nerve okay so they are comprising they are called as subcostal vessels subcostal vessels and after that we have got two important things one is called as ilio hypogastric nerve ilio hypogastric nerve and finally we have got the ilio inguinal nerve ilio inguinal nerve okay so these are the important branches which are located we have got ilio hypogastric nerve ilio inguinal nerve as well as the subcostal vessels and here also we have got the diaphragm the psoas major quadratus lumborum as well as the transverse abdominalis muscle right so these are the structures that are located i mean that are the post that form the posterior relations of your kidney so this is one of the very important topic to understand the anterior and posterior relations of the kidneys are very important guys so this is all you need to know regarding this thank you so much for watching my video goodbye